Hey guys, this is Gaijin Hunter with a quick video talking about decoration drop rates because I know a lot of you guys who are in the end game and grinding for it are very curious and I just got the guides that are came out in Japan and they have all the information inside. So without further ado, let's jump right in. The first thing you'll notice is that the Elder Melder is actually not a very good deal because her ritual will give you a mysterious face stone, a gleaming one, or a worn one. So even at its max, you only have a 2% chance of getting an S or a 6% chance of getting a rarity uh, 7, which is an A-class decoration. I have charts in this video, so you'll be able to see everything and sort of take copies for yourself. Um, but obviously the warped face stones, which are the best and the highest probability of getting an A or an S rank uh, decoration, those are only going to get from tempered elder dragons. Now if you look below, I did include a little chart, and this is the purple slots that you get for doing tempered uh, quests. These are your rewards. For threat level 1, you have a 60% chance of a mysterious, 35 a gleaming, and 5 for a worn. At threat level 2, which is all the big boys except the elder dragons, you have 36% for gleaming, 35 for worn, and 26 for warped. I apologize, I missed that in my first upload. As well as a 3% chance for a warrior stone. And finally, elder dragons is 72% for worn, 13 for warped. Then you have a 12% chance for a warrior stone and 3% for a hero stone. Not rates that I generally like for an item like that. Okay, so let's jump into what these categories really mean so you can start figuring out what are the skills that you're hunting for and what do you want to try to get. Now, for all of these tables, you have an equal percent chance. It's completely random of which one you'll get. Now, I know that for PlayStation 4, some people have figured out a method to sort of figure out the table of where you are and have a way to do a save data sort of exploit to try to snipe the gem that you want. Whether or not they'll fix that, I don't know, um, but you, whatever. Um, it's kind of random, so you don't have a percentage chance in between, like, Scholar being more rare than Airborne or anything like that. Um, so there's quite a bit amount of skills here, so trying to get the one that you want is going to be hard, but luckily, Table C is all over the place. So you probably have a bunch of these already. They're not worth a whole lot, and they're not really that useful. Um, some of them may be in some situations, but I'm sure you're sick of game Palico Rally. <laughs> Here is table B. It is the biggest one, actually even bigger than table C, so trying to snipe the one you want out of here is going to be very hard. Um, lots of really good skills though. Uh, you'll notice a lot of your favorites ones on this list. Um, I can't seem to get certain ones of these, but certain other ones I get a lot of. It's just the RNG being really mean to us. Now table A and S is where the really fun stuff happens. This is why you want to be doing tempered elder dragons if you want any of these because the chances of getting these are actually not that good on the worn face stones. Um, the one I really want is the protective polish. That's the entire Odogoron uh, set in a single decoration. Ugh, I want it so bad. Um, but unfortunately, I haven't been able to get it. Um, my only note down here is the Elder Seal Up. I actually don't know the English name for that one. It increases the power of your Elder Seal on your weapon by one rank which is actually really useful um, if you're going up against Elder Dragons and farming them so you can get more of these uh, decorations. And then finally we have the Mythical Table S. So it's going to be very hard to get some of these, but when you get them they're pretty game-changing. I love that Mushermancer <laughs> is on this list because it's a really good skill. Anyways, that is the entire list. Uh, I hope you enjoyed seeing all the different decorations that you can get from these um, because some skills are not available in decorations and some are. So it might have been interesting for you guys to go through these lists and see which ones are available and which aren't. And also get a better grasp of the rarity of the skill that you're trying to get so you know which monster to hunt. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that like button if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, happy hunting.